Hello, 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 beautiful people. It has been so long since I showed face on here and I have really honestly been missing you guys, not gonna lie. I decided that I should start coming on here more. I should start sharing stories more with you guys and for one, I should probably catch you up on where I've been for the last year of my life, right? I've had tons of messages from you guys and those of you who have been able to keep in touch with me throughout all of my platforms with all these shifts and changes that I've experienced for the last year or so, I greatly, 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 greatly appreciate you guys for being there. I appreciate you guys for all the love, all the support, especially everything that has gone on last year. I'm thinking about potentially using this video as just a, hi, I'm back and I wanna show face again. And with that, I would love to have you guys comment below just some of the things that you would like me to catch you up on. Um, I could do a few like catch up videos if that's what you guys are feeling called about. But as you know, probably last I popped on here was when I was sharing my story about the domestic violence and the sexual assault experience that I have personally gone through. I am out of that, I am safe, I am good, I am well, and I feel comfortable enough showing face on here again since that experience. So please know that I have not been ignoring you. Please know that I really missed being here and I cannot wait to catch you guys up. I have been working on so many incredible things. You have no idea. So with that being said, please below, just drop some of the questions, some of the ideas, some of the thoughts, whatever it is that you guys would like to know that you guys feel like you have missed or you're confused or there's a lapse in my timeline, just put that below and I will do my best to go through all of those and maybe pop on here again and answer as many questions as I can. Um, short, long-ish version condensed. Um, you guys know that I sold my van ways back, um, August 2019 to be exact. And my ex and I, we made it with the bus. I moved into the bus and we made it to the bus to Washington State, which was my favorite state out of the 37 I've been to. And because I just sold my van um, and a bunch of other things that you could totally go into, but I bought property and I bought property with the intention to live out this dream that I had back in 2017. And it was to travel the United States, see all the places that I've always wanted to see, to connect and experience with all the people that I've always wanted to connect and learn from and grow from and all the places that I've ever wanted to see. And then the intention and the goal was to buy property in the state that I felt was going to fulfill all those thoughts and needs and ideas that are accumulating and circulating in this wild brain of mine. So I bought property at the base of the Olympics in Washington state. I hadn't really posted much about that on here. Um, we did work on it a lot. It was raw land and we put driveways in and we cleared bushes and we put a garden in and <sighs> so many projects has happened from that point to now. And so many hardships have happened from that point to now. And so many triumphs have happened from that point to now. So I would love to fill you guys in. So any questions that you have, really just drop them below and I will do my best to try to answer as many as I can on here. Um, after we got the property, as you guys know, other than like working on it, which you probably have seen on Instagram, uh, we got stuck overseas in Australia. We were the last flight in and the last flight out of SeaTac before all international flights were grounded. And we were the last flight into Australia before they also like shut everything down. So I spent four months of the pandemic stuck overseas, which I did some videos on that to kind of put you guys in, in that department. When we made it back to the United States, we continued to work on the property. That's when I went on my first ever Kessner family trip with my dad and my stepmom and my siblings. We went to Bermuda. There is a video for that. I promise, I promise, I promise, I will edit it and put it up here soon. It's just, since that moment to date, life has literally and non freaking stop. So I am just trying to like hone in and focus my energy in appropriate areas and just starting to get myself back out there to you guys and share these stories with you guys. And I would love as much feedback as you can in this actual video because I've never done a video like this before where I'm just free. I'm just free speaking, free sharing stories with you guys. Um, not that I ever script my stuff. The only thing that's ever been scripted on my channel 
And those of you who thought you were playing detective the last few years with all the things going on in the world, you guys suck, honestly. Sorry. I have a forensics degree and I think my $100,000 degree qualifies me to tell you guys that you guys need to do better with paying attention to details. With that being said, the only video I, that was ever scripted on my channel was actually my wedding video. Ironic, right? If you know what's going on, then ironic, right? So if you actually watch the video, you can see that my eyes are like trying to read a screen and I'm like, what the fuck? This is not what I want to say. Yeah, so. Other than that, my videos are usually just me traveling, me on the fly, me sharing stories on Instagram, which if you don't follow me, uh, hello, what are you doing? Hello, Art Van Groh, A-R-T-V-A-N-G-R-O-W. And then I also started an Instagram account for the conscious community and healing center that I'm building at the base of the Olympics, which is the property that I bought when I sold my van. So that is T-H-E underscore S dot E dot E dot D, the seed. If you go to Art Van Grow, you will be able to get connected to the seed. And you can also go to my website, artvangrow.com, and you can check out tons more information about the seed. All of that is finally up there about another new collaboration that I'm working on and a new builder that um, I'm really excited to be working with. I've worked with them in the past. So if you guys are curious, I don't wanna like spoil it yet. We might do a live. So if you guys are curious and or you think you know who the builder is that I will be working with for van and bus and tiny house conversions, just drop it below. I'm kind of curious if you guys will figure it out. Um, but yeah, other than the property and work getting done on the property and all that that was happening, then obviously I went through that big dramatic publicized divorce that you guys got to witness, firsthand experience of what years and years and years and years of trauma how through lack of healing and lack of acknowledging all of that trauma physically manifested into a physical person. And then I married that physical person. And despite all the other factors and all the other details that are involved in all of this thing, it has shown the most light on my personal healing journey. And if it wasn't for all of these unfortunate events that have led us to this exact moment here in this exact space, Personally, I wouldn't have gotten a firsthand experience in the mental health world like I did through this experience and the shit that I saw, the shit that I experienced, whew, I cannot wait to share with you guys. I cannot wait to expose the mental health institutions that claim that they care about us. No, they don't give a shit about us. They care about the $3,000 they get per day. But we'll get into that in another video. If you guys are interested, let me know that also below. Um, so I got to experience that through this experience, which links us all back to this very moment in time where I actually just made it on a television show. It's called Influence Me TV. And you're never gonna guess what the first round is. Literally raising awareness and funds to help end the stigma on mental health. Boom! It's as if they like created this whole entire production for me. I'm just kidding, I totally did it but it totally feels like the universe conspired in my favor, which is freaking awesome considering the year that I've had. And I would, you know, let me, let me take that back because I'm not gonna edit this video and I'm just gonna throw it out there to you guys and just plant this seed. Uh, I'm back, let's see where it goes. Let's see what the energy brings to the table so I know where I should hone in on my energy and my creativity moving forward. If you guys wanna hear more of these stories, let me know. This is, this is fun for me. This is awesome for me. This is what I show up for since 2017. This is what I've been branding myself for. I've been branding myself to show up for each and every one of y'all in the most authentic light and way that I can to show you guys what true authenticity is and to hopefully inspire you guys through my highs and my lows, my ups and my downs, my triumphs and my failures, what it's like to be a real human being with a full spectrum of emotions, which is kind of why we came to planet Earth you know, to learn about these unique experiences. So through my journey, through my personal healing journey, through my personal mental health journey, which actually just started because of the whole toxicity through my ex, I have learned so freaking much, man. I have, I can't even begin to explain how much I have learned, how much I have integrated, how much I have healed, 
how many healers that I've gotten a chance to work with in the last year, how much growth I have had, how much goodness and juicy details I have to share with you guys. Like other than the fact that I'm on a TV show, which yeah, side note, I got one a little tangent there. I tend to do that, but I, I like to think that I come back to the original thought at some point. But yeah, I'm on this TV show. It's called Influence Me TV and round one is raising awareness and funds for the mental health foundation called the Jed Foundation. It's a non-for-profit and they work with over 300 schools right now to bring the tools, to bring the skills, to bring everything that is needed to give to all of these teens and young adults to help not just end the stigma, but also to prevent suicide, to prevent all of these mental health issues that society as we know has literally put on us, not to mention generational trauma that's been passed down for 13 to 14 generations, not to mention the own trauma that we've been experienced. And I mean, have you seen what's been on social media and the news the last few years? Are you kidding me? If you think that that's not gonna cause mental health problems in literally the entire world and we're gonna need healed healers to show up and help, working on it. And that's why I'm also gonna have this conscious community and alternative healing center at the base of the Olympics called The Seed, where I will be able to perform various healings with various healers, creatives, all sorts of organizations and people that I've gotten a chance to connect with through all of my travels so far around the entire United States. They're all gonna come to this space and they're all gonna do workshops and they're gonna do events and it's gonna be freaking epic. So the reason that I personally am joining this television show called Influence Me TV is one, it's called Influence Me TV. And I don't know, I've been on here showing face and sharing stories with you guys for years. And it'd be kind of cool if I got to do it full time and actually, like, I don't know, got gigs from it and got paid from it. And I don't know, I love sharing my stories. So not, I don't know, let me fix that. I do know. I love sharing stories with you guys. I love inspiring people. I freaking love what I do. I love sharing what it's like to have hard times. I love what it's like to manifest. I love sharing with you guys manifestation tools. I love sharing with you guys journal and breathwork tools and medit. I'm just, I'm getting like so excited here. Sorry, not sorry. I'm working on that one. I just am so excited to share with you guys through my platforms and this community that I am personally building. All of these things that I've learned. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be on this TV show <laughs> called Influence View TV. Voting starts March 8th at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The link will be in my bio. The link will be on my website, artbangrow.com. The link will be on my Instagram, artbangrow, in the bio, on my link tree, on all the things, probably TikTok too. And if you haven't followed me there, there I'm artbangrow LLC because I hate to say some Karen because I just recently learned that I have an aunt I never met named Karen Keshner. So like last night I was like, oh, some Karen. I'm like, oh crap, man. I don't want to use that. I don't want. I don't want to feed into that anymore. Even though I kind of have a little bit. So I just more or less was showing my authentic story, sharing my story about my abuse. I was sharing my story about my trauma and. There was a lot of people who were involved with all of that, but didn't like me sharing that story. And they tried to silence me. And the only way that they physically could silence me was by reporting and um, flagging like all of my content on all of my social media. So I don't know how many of you guys on here follow me on my other platforms, but when I first went through my like, not I first went through my divorce. It was a little bit more dramatic than that. I literally fled Washington state with a deputy who escorted me to the interstate to hop on the interstate to get to the airport where my friend Sierra packed me a duffel bag with literally a car full of random stuff that the deputy helped me. I only had a car full of stuff. All my stuff was still on the bus. I just grabbed my important shit, my important documents and I did it. I got to safety. I was with one of my best friends and she helped me out. And we'll get into that more if you guys are interested in it. Just let me know below. And I literally fled Washington State and didn't come back until 420. And this happened on December 11, 2020. So there was quite a, a big gap there. And as soon as I made it back home and had to keep explaining what happened to people, it was just becoming like way too much for me. Like it just wasn't, 
it wasn't helping the situation. So I just felt like it was a lot easier to just like share it all online. I figured everybody could watch it, everybody could see it. I don't have to keep repeating myself and reliving these moments. I understood that like most people didn't agree about how I did it. And obviously I was the one who had to pay for those consequences of my actions that I chose to do. I still feel really good in my heart and I know that I inspired a lot of people by doing it the way that I did. Um, I had gotten probably over 20 messages from people just saying that because I shared my story, the way that I shared my story, they were able to leave their toxic and abusive situations. So for me, it was fucking worth it. And I really don't care whose opinions say otherwise. And despite the consequences that I personally were dealt from the situation, I still feel like it was 110% worth it for me to share my story and hopefully inspire others. And through that, I got to learn firsthand about the mental health institutions and how the mental health institutions don't care about us. It's these other organizations like the Jed Foundation that actually give a shit about us. And they're the ones who are going out, communicating and connecting with various schools to provide the tools. So we don't wind up in that mental health system. Instead, we wind up healed. So we get to the root of the problem. We get to the root of the traumas. And then we actually work on healing ourselves, which is what I've been doing because you can't, you can't, uh, evolve and go to the heavens and go to heaven and be with God and Jesus and light and all these things, whatever you believe in, you can't get there until you walk through hell. You can't get there until you acknowledge the fact that you have trauma that you need to work on. You can't get there until you start treating people how the, I don't know, you want to be treated before you go complain about how they treat others. You're not going to get there. So it's the healers that have walked through hell and have healed and have gone through the healings and the intensity of all that, that then can show up to help heal others. And that's what all these light workers that I've connected with through all my travels are doing right now. We are all doing the inner healing work and integrating all that we've learned so we can provide all these tools and materials for you guys. And the way that I'll probably provide them is a little bit different than how this foundation will provide them as this is, you know, a global foundation here. They're providing schools on a global level and they're providing tools on a global level. I provide, I intend and set the intention that my space specifically that I am building at the base of the Olympics, which rvangrow.com slash the seed will give you plenty, plenty of information on that. Um, I tend and plan and I am manifesting that all of these skills from all of these various things that I've experienced through my travel, through these healers, through life, through school, you know, I do have a degree a uh, bachelor's of science in forensics and a minor in sociology, emphasis on crime scene investigation and criminology. I studied human behavior. I studied the way people think. Um, I volunteered with the biometrics department. I went to school, West Virginia University and graduated top of my class um, with Latin honors. So I'm gonna use finally for the first time in my life, all of this stuff, every bit of it. And I bought five acre canvas and I'm going to share all of that with you guys. But in order to make that dream a physical reality, I need to continue to work at the pace that I'm working at with the different organizations that I'm working at to help get me there, to help make that a success, to help see that manifest exactly how I envisioned it back in 2017. Back when it was just an idea in my imagination, in my third eye, and then bam, now it's being protected. Now all my manifestations are happening in, in real life and it's incredible. So the fact that this television show called Influence Me TV is gonna be teaming up with the Jed Foundation to help end the stigma on mental health awareness is huge for me. That is so much in alignment with my soul and I can't wait to not even just be a part of that but also bring awareness and shine light to me, my brain, Art Van Grow, and the project, the seed, and the conscious community that I am creating. So. That's where I'm at right now. I'm super excited. I'm gonna try to do another video about just the foundation, the organization for you guys. And I'm back in Washington. I have an apartment, which is the first place that I've lived that is not on wheels since 2018, which is pretty freaking huge for me. Minus the fact that I was like couch surfing and bedroom surfing for like, I don't know, almost a, almost a year until uh, the divorce was finalized, until I could go back to the property, until all of that drama was kind of 
fizzled out and stuff like that. And then I went back to the property. He took the bus. All my stuff was left there, but he did take the bus and I didn't have anywhere to live. So I just started renting rooms and saved up. And eventually I got myself this magnificent, beautiful space. Do you guys wanna see it really quick? And then I should probably go, right? Let's see if I could show you from here. Look at those views. I am literally on a five acre property and I manifested this, this entire apartment, all of the views, all of it, I freaking manifested. And I kind of wish I knew all of these manifestation skills a few years back. I don't know, maybe like 29 years back. That'd be really fucking swell if they taught this to us in school. The fact that we create our own reality. Wow, the things I could have done back then. If only I like knew and honed in on the skills because I mean, I've been manifesting shit forever. To be fair, I manifested my toxic relationship that I just got out of. I literally, when I was a kid, <laughs> I'm gonna make this, I was end this here after this. When I was a kid, I always used to say, I want to meet an alien. I just want to meet an alien. I want to be friends with an alien. I want to see what an alien's like, right? But as a kid and as a light worker and as a very intuitive being and a highly sensitive person, I didn't really like have an image of what this alien was gonna like look like because I knew it was not gonna be like anything in the TV and the shows. The aliens are coming and they're gonna hurt you. No, they're fucking just like us cause they are us, you know? So here I am my whole life as a kid and I'm like, I just wanna meet an alien. I wanna know what they're like. I wanna know if they're like, I just wanna know everything. Be really careful what you wish for, guys. Like, seriously, like, really, 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 really careful. Your words are your spell. Like, I'm not kidding. Seriously, be mindful. So I said that through my whole childhood. And then 2018, November 9th, let's be, let's be precise here. November 9th, 2019, I meet my first alien in real life in the fucking flesh. He's from Australia. Now, this isn't a sick joke about everything that happened. This is actually facts. Do you know what an alien really means? And I didn't know this as a kid, which is how I somehow manifested this entire freaking experience. Literally, if you were an immigrant and you immigrate to, immigrate to the United States, I don't know if it's the same for the other states that they call it the same, so I can only speak on behalf of the United States. So if, you're, if you immigrate here from another state to the United States of America, while well, you're going through the process for citizenship, AKA the green card process, AKA what I was being used for. But we'll get into that in another detailed video if you guys are into it. So you're given, you're given, through this process, you're given a number and this number is a tracking number. Now, kind of like your social, except it's not called SS number. It's not called like your student ID. It's not like your medical number, your med number. It's actually, it's actually called an alien number, like straight up A-L-I-E-N number. And you're given this alien number because you're an alien. You're literally an alien if you're new to a new place. So when everyone's panties are in a bunch that the aliens are coming, we're here, we've been here. It's just, are you an alien to where? Who are you an alien to? I'm a fucking alien to everybody in Washington. I'm born and raised in New York City. I move quick, I think quick, I do things differently. They're a little slower pace back over this way. They do things differently, nothing's wrong with that. Nobody's better or worse. Just I am like an alien to them because I'm like, and they're like, what is she? We don't get it. Why does she move so fast? Why does she process and think the way she thinks? Oh, well, that's feedback my therapists have been giving me. Like the way your brain processes information is unlike anybody I've ever seen. Cause I'm probably a fucking alien, just like you. Well, just like some of you because you're all not aliens, because some of you, I mean, I don't really know. Do you know? Let me know below, we'll leave it at that. Thanks guys, and follow me on all my social media and make sure to vote for me starting March 8th at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time so I can make it on the next episodes. All right guys, thanks so much, happy to be here. I love you, stay sexy.